Hi, I'm Daniel Foley from the Abundant Life Training Center, and welcome to our daily community meditation, where today we're talking about creating order out of disorder. So sometimes in life, God puts us into some disordered situations, has been my experience, with the expectation that we can go in by his grace, by his power working within us, by following his leading, by following his prompting, we can begin to go in and create order, we can create systems, turn it into something beautiful. He can create order out of disorder, and he wants to do it through us. Now, this time of year, we're going to go through our filters here, because this time of year is a time where often there's some increased pressure. Often God's putting us into some disordered situations, and it often happens in my experience during this time of the year. And it's during these times of year when everything's maybe kind of going all over the place. You've got parts moving everywhere. Things are disordered. That God begins to help you to put everything into its perfect place. Order is about positioning. When things are in their proper position at the right time, things are in order. And it's this time of year where he, there's often chaos and he begins to make things fall into place by his grace. And so our filters for today. These filters are short things that I write every night at the top of my journal. To help me stay in rhythm with God. To filter my decision making, help me stay in step with him. I like to start with the big picture vision. Our big, our big picture vision in the Abundant Life Blueprint is to build abundant life training centers all over the world. Making the body of Christ healthy and beautiful. Our program, the Abundant Life Blueprint, started for me about 10 years ago. When Proverbs 13, 22 changed the course of my whole life. It says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. And that verse inspired me to start creating manuals and lessons and teaching for all the different areas of life. But when I got started, I had no clue where to start. So I began to seek after God. My relationship with him began to grow. He began to teach me, began to train me. He taught me this whole new way to live. We make him the center, we make him the source of everything. We learn how to do things his way. We learn how to walk in the light. Fellowship with him, fellowship with one another. Now, it wasn't always easy all the time. Because I had to put off my old ways, learn how to walk out a new way of living. But I just began to document what he was taking me through, and it turned into a series of books and courses and partners, and now blueprints that we have called the Abundant Life Blueprint. And our goal is to build abundant life training centers that are implementing these mm -hmm. blueprints. Communities of people working together in unity who are thriving together. And this year, in 2022, we've been focused on the year of the beautiful land. In the Old Testament, God told the people he's going to give them the best and the most beautiful land in the whole world as their inheritance. And that's symbolic for us of this rich inheritance that we have in Christ. It's got everything we need. This beautiful land. And this year, God's been teaching us how to possess it, how to hold fast to it by filling up the basket of praise. Praising God for who he is, praising him for all that he's done for us in Christ. Praising him for all that he's done in our lives personally. And then this month in September of 2022, we've been focusing on financial stewardship. Managing and multiplying everything God's entrusted to us. And this week, we are in a special time of the year called the 10 Days of Awe. We pass through the Feast of Trumpets, also known as Rosh Hashanah, a few days ago. And it's this time in between the Feast of Trumpets and the Day of Atonement. It's these 10 days called the 10 Days of Awe. And those are the final 10 days of the 40 days of Teshuvah. Teshuvah means to turn or repent. This is a time of year to be searching our hearts, to be searching our conscience, to make adjustments, to make corrections, to repent, to get things turned around, to be implementing God's ways of doing things into every area of our life. And in Acts chapter 3, it says if we would turn or we would repent, that God would wipe away our sins and times of refreshing would come from his presence. And a big part of this is we're taking action like we've talked about. Paying attention to those leadings and promptings on the inside, God's going to help us to create some order. He's going to help us create order sometimes out of disordered environments. And so Heavenly Father, we're asking for your help that day. For any of us that are in disordered environments, 
that your grace would come upon us. Help us create order out of that disorder. Help put things in their proper position at the right time. And to help us do that effectively by your grace and by your power, by your leading. It's a grace that you've given us, I believe, for creating order. And we're asking for that grace on our lives. And we thank you that the night Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread and said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let's take a moment to just examine ourselves. Our four fundamentals we talk about often. How are we doing staying in the light, walking in the light? And the shortcut to that is to just be thankful. Be thankful in all circumstances. Are we filling up that basket of praise? Are we magnifying the light by filling up that basket of praise? Are we spending our time venting and complaining and pouting? Gratitude and praise, filling up that basket of praise, two main fundamentals. Our third fundamental, are we staying tuned into him? Are we staying connected to him, in a rhythm with him, tuned into him throughout the day? Are we doing life connected with him? And then to create this order, we've got to do our fourth fundamental. We've got to take action. It's one of the greatest things I've learned in life. Do what you know to do today. What do you know to do? And take action on those things. It'll keep you in position. It'll help you to create this order out of disorder. What do you know to do today? Not the things you're unsure of, not the things you're uncertain of. What do you know to do? So Father, I thank you for this bread. We'd all missed it. We'd all gone astray. And you laid upon Jesus the sins and the iniquities of us all. And by his stripes, we've been healed. We've been restored. We've been made right and holy and perfect in your sight. He was crushed and destroyed by you so that we could be connected back to you. And then you raised him up from the dead. You seated him at your right hand in heavenly places. And you raised us up together with him. Made us sit together with him in heavenly places. Made us one with him. And that's our positioning. That's where the order comes from. That's where we get our positioning from. So Father, I thank you for this bread. And ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. If you have your bread, you can take your bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. And it's the forgiveness of sins that releases us from darkness and transfers us into the light, into the kingdom of Jesus. And he's a great king. His blood washes us and cleanses us. Gives us a fresh start. We can walk out this day today connected with God. Got a covenant relationship with him. So Father, I thank you for this cup. And ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Be your juice, you can take your juice. All right, so usually after our time of communion, we talk about some health and fitness tips. So right now, these 10 days, these 10 days of all, we are due, I usually do a Daniel fast every year. Daniel fast is to eat only things that can be grown from a seed. Fruits, vegetables, beans, nuts, whole grains, things like that. And you drink only water for those 10 days. The 10th day is the Day of Atonement, which was considered the most holy day of the year in the Jewish culture. And that day is typically a total fast. It was the one day of the year when the high priest could go into the Holy of Holies and make atonement for the sins of the people for the year. That's a reminder for us that Jesus is our great high priest. He's washed us and cleansed us. He's made us clean. It's this Daniel fast during this time. Today, as, we're, as this video is coming out, it'll be day number five of the Daniel fast. And I just want to, to reinforce, keep staying the course. Keep focusing on taking action. Keep staying the course. 
with the dang of fast, we're about halfway through. Just keep staying the course with it. But I hope this is helpful for you today. If you'd like to learn more about what we're doing in the Abundant Life Blueprint, you go to the Abundant Life Training Center dot com.